Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Star Daily Card Reading for September 9th, 2021. Let's see what we have. There it is. Uh, focus upon divine and perfect health. We were just talking, we're talking, there's like a lot of messaging around abuse coming up. So we've been talking about getting your distance, valuing yourself. It's not that it's your fault, like, oh, I'm getting abused because I'm not valued. No, you're getting abused because someone's sick and they're not focusing on their mental health or their mental wellness. So you can take care of you, you can start to decompress and then find out ways of coping or you know, get with an expert, a therapist or a psychologist. Make sure you're discerning about who you talk to. Okay, God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. And that means not doing this spiritual sidestepping of you're toxic because I'm judging you. See, different intentions. I'm judging you. And you just don't show up for me enough. And I just think you're so toxic. Like, I'm just not. We're just not, okay? That's not it. There, There's a very deep, uh, painful thing that goes on for a lot of sensitive people and that is getting used, taken advantage of, taken for granted, getting kicked around. We're not victims, okay? We're not victims. We come into, we choose to come into these families, these dynamics, these work situations, these friend situations, but we can help ourselves by learning the lesson and getting through it, okay? And that lesson might be, I deserve to have proper health care. All of my fears and everything have now manifested physically and if you're sick at this point you know this is what it's talking about it's like you don't have to keep torturing yourself all right you don't have to keep cycling around guilt fear shame embarrassment okay um and this does kind of go into not not valuing other people's opinions of you so much <laughs> Right? Again, if you're sensitive, you're you're kind of taught or ingrained with this idea that your sense of self-worth is how well you can save others. And that's not it. That's not it. Okay, we're not doing that. Okay. Um, but people can make you feel guilty if you don't just hop to. I had a very, very, con oh God, I don't even know what the heck her deal was. Um, huh? Out in New York. And she would call me up and demand I come over. I have family coming to town, like right now. They're about to pull up. I'm carrying armloads of groceries that I just had to walk five blocks with because it's New York City, <laughs> okay? That's how you do grocery shopping. Um, and now I have to go prep a meal. I got to get dinner. If she's coming any minute, what do you want? I just broke up with somebody. Uh, okay, I'm very, well, you got to understand. Let me put this into context. This is somebody who breaks up with this person literally every three or four days. I fell for it the first few times and I was like, well, you know, you keep, you keep doing this. Like, <laughs> Change your process. Like, what are you doing? Um, and I told her, I'm so sorry to hear that. You know, I can chat with you while I'm making dinner, but you know, I, ha I have family coming to town like any second now. They're going to show up any minute and I need to get this going. She starts turning on the tears. She starts making really horrific threats and manipulating me. Now that's a tricky one because you don't know if they mean it or not. And I was like, no, if you're seriously in trouble, we're gonna get you serious help. I'm gonna call somebody. No, no, no. And then, of course she twisted that around later on. She had all her flying monkeys coming at me and saying, you're awful for not dropping everything and going out there. I should also explain that I was out in Queens and this person was up in the Bronx and I didn't have a car. That's a long haul. So no matter what the scenario, I would have called somebody who's more in the immediate vicinity who can get to her and help her. Now, again, if somebody's in trouble, make sure you assess the situation and get them help. But how many of you out there have experienced somebody who's constantly, I don't know, psychologists, you weigh in on this. I think, isn't there a disorder where people do that um, or personality disorder or something? They keep threatening just to get attention. Ugh. Again, you never know whether it's real or not. So just be careful with that. Make sure people are getting the proper help and support. But in this situation, honey, it's going to be people coming to the door to make sure you're okay. I can't get to you fast enough, right? But watch out for stuff like that because empaths and sensitive people and light workers, we do tend to get sucked in to those kinds of dynamics, okay? So... I guess that's enough. We'll leave it there. <laughs> I'm sending you all so much love and take care.